Hello and welcome to this week's Vaticano Updates, the most important news from Pope Francis and the Vatican. Speaking at his general audience, Pope Francis called for prayers for Yemen, a land that has been wounded for many years by a terrible, forgotten war which has caused so many deaths and still causes so many people to suffer, especially children. These were his words and they came as a glimmer of hope was appearing on the horizon for the war-torn nation. Saudi Arabia has allowed over a hundred detainees to return to the country following simultaneous prisoner exchanges between Yemen's warring parties. Now the country has been embroiled in a civil war since late 2014 when the Iran-backed Houthi militia stormed several northern cities and forced the Saudi-backed Yemeni government out of the capital of Sana'a. One of Asia's most senior Catholic clerics is meeting officials in Beijing as a deal between the Vatican and China over the church's role in the communist states appears to be framed. Now, Bishop Stephen Chow San Yan, the top Catholic cleric in Hong Kong, will be the first senior church official from the Chinese territory to visit Beijing since 1994. Now, the visit, which follows an invitation last year from his counterpart in the Chinese capital, comes after Beijing this month unilaterally appointed a new bishop in Shanghai. Now, this appointment is a breach of a 2018 deal between the Vatican and Beijing. The director of the Holy See Press Office, Matteo Bruni, confirmed that the Holy See earlier this meet donated relics of the True Cross to Charles III, the Supreme Governor of the Church of England, as an ecumenical gesture. Now, the gift consisted of two small wooden fragments of the cross on which, according to Christian tradition, Jesus was crucified. Now, preserved in the Vatican, the precious relics were delivered in recent days to the Royal Chapel of St. James in London. India is set to surpass China as the world's most populous nation, with almost 3 million more people by the middle of this year. Now, based on the projections, India's population by mid-year will reach 1.4286 billion, compared to China's 1.4257 billion, or 2.9 million fewer. United Nations officials have said it is not possible to determine the exact date for the shift due to the uncertainty about the data coming from China and India. With 24 million followers, Christianity is India's third largest religion after Hinduism and Islam in a population of 1.3 billion people. Now, Catholics number 20 million representing around 1.5% of the total population, and the Catholic Church is the single largest Christian church in India. Archbishop Vicenzo Paglia, president of the Pontifical Academy for Life, has spoken in support of legalized medically assisted suicide, calling it feasible despite the clear teachings of the Catholic Church against it. Now, according to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, intentional euthanasia, whatever its forms or motives, is murder. Now, the Pontifical Academy for Life clarified on Monday that its president is against assisted suicide, but thinks it is possible to have a legal initiative that would allow it to be de decriminalized in Italy under specific and particular conditions. Thank you for watching this week's Vaticano Updates. Benjamin Crockett for EWTN Vaticano.